Welcome back. So this is our fifth video in our AutoCAD series. So in last video, we have completed outbound delivery. Now the same outbound delivery, uh, delivery note prepared, then PGI document processed, then we got the accounting document. So in this particular video, we are going to see how we are going to do the out, how we are going to convert the outbound delivery into our billing document. So we know that from finance point of view, there is will be a customer invoice entry will be there. And we know the accounting customer is going to debit, revenue is going to credit and in other informations are there, let's say tax is there. So that is also going to credit. Then uh, so some sales deduction is going to debit. Who is going to post this accounting entry in the system? Though no one is going to post the accounting entry in the system because the moment the billing document will be created by the SD user, so automatically this accounting document will be generated as part of our integration. So till now you have uh, you understood that being finance user, we are not going to do anything. So automatically all these activities are done in the different system or different module and we are getting this accounting documents. So if it is not integrated one, then each and everything manually uh, user need to do. But here finance is going to get automatic information with reference to other activities in the logistic module. So let's check it. So far we have completed one sales order creation. Then we proceed with outbound delivery in the previous video and we have also analyzed the accounting document. In this video, I'm going to explain about the invoice, but again, the, it is the subsequent activity after the outbound delivery. So we will raise one invoice, then we will see the customer open item, means customer receivable. Then also we will check uh, so our COPA also. So profitability analysis report also we are going to check and we are also going to see the customer invoice and the complete analysis with reference to that billing document we are going to do so if i am the user and i am suppose i suppose to enter the billing document with reference to outbound delivery and if i am from the analysis team then i need to check all the relevant documents with reference to outbound uh, with reference to the billing document so i'm going to process one billing document which is transaction code vf01 vf01 and here you need to enter the previous delivery note so if you recall the delivery note was this one and with reference to the delivery note we are going to proceed with the billing document now i will not do anything being user i will just enter the billing document and with reference to billing doc document system is going to process the so with reference to the delivery note system is going to generate the billing document and with reference to billing document we will see the other documents like accounting and finance documents so post it that's it my job over being user my job over now i want to see the complete process so again we will go back to fury and we will see with reference to that sales order number 58 what next happened here so check it just refresh so here i will select the sales document and then sales document means sales order so 58 and go okay so here i got one more document which is document number 14017 so how i got this document because i got a more document in the logistic side so this one is your logistic and this one is your accounting so as there is one more document or one more activity is there in logistic after the billing document so what i entered so i entered this delivery note and with reference to that system generated one accounting document or uh, system is generated one billing document in logistic and this billing document generated one accounting document now i want to see this accounting document i want to see the customer invoice i want to see the profitability report right so you know what is the accounting document with reference to the sales what is the accounting entry so customer is going to normal customer is going to debit and revenue is going to credit but if you recall initially in the sales some discount component was there so that must be there here in the billing document then uh, earlier in our billing document it was goods in transit so that also we are going to realize that means the cost also we are going to capitalize the cost so let's see the accounting document so document number 14017 and that also you can see in the uh, on premises as well like the previous document so let's check the document document number ab03 now the, who is going to analyze this one this is part of your order to cash but mostly the accounting segment so order to cash is a vast process so in different users are going to perform different activities one person is not going to do all these activities so if i am doing the document analysis or accounting analysis or part of you can say the fi team 
or I'm handling the receivable part, then this is my job. So what was the document number? Document number 14017. I just entered here. And how can I will confirm that this document is generated with reference to the billing document? One is from here you can get it. Second option is uh, if you'll check the source document in the on-premises, then you will get that too. So if I will check my original document, so original document is what? 9 all 0 3 6 9 all 0 3 6 so it's confirmed so with reference to the billing document i got the accounting document so here customer is debited like if you, you will observe that being user i am not entering everything automatically system is doing lot of activities so that is why the development and configuration is important from rather than user but initially it's good you can start your career from the uh, user side then once you have some config uh, some knowledge some experience two to three years experience then maybe you can upgrade to consulting otherwise the user you don't have a better career you will not have a better career user because you can see here being user i am not doing lot of activities automatically system doing or in back end i did the configuration that is why it is working so customer is debited then revenue that time it was the uh, in sales order we have seen that sales price was 800 so revenue is updated 800 then one discount amount was there you can cross check also let's check the sales order so this is the sales order we have created and this is my calculation that time we have seen so what is the selling price 800 so it is the same is accounting now this document is related to sd this document is related to accounting all your accounting reports on the basis of accounting document all your sales reports on the basis of your sales document so here it is revenue 800 so that 800 captured here or it is recorded but who posted that is beauty of integration so discount is there eight that is also captured here some tax amount is there gst that is also captured here right this one is that time it was there right then we have uh, that is debit entry is there something else is there this is the accounting document but I, I said that it will be transferred to profitability report as well now if i will check my copa report profitability report now there also you will get the same information so in copa we will do a cost and revenue analysis check that too so go to k24 again this is not part of your profit uh, your order to cash process it is a uh, high level middle management analysis report mostly the um, management accounting point of view this is relevant but data we captured from the billing document right or the outbound delivery so here if i will enter the company quote and if i will execute some more data is there previous data is coming just ignore we will select today's date and we will filter here with reference to today's date now check when i posted all this costing point of view no with reference to billing document i got all the information so what is the selling price 800 what is the cost that one and deduction so in this case till now the profit is 425.22 because revenue minus discount minus cost and this happens with reference to your logistics. So that means in one system, when one user is working, it's not like only that system is going to update or that department will get the information. All the other departments are going to be updated with reference to that particular activities. But of course, for that, all the required configuration should be there. So this is my COPA report. This is my SD report or sales order data. And this is my accounting data now i want to see the customer report if i am the receivable team i am from receivable team and i want to see the customer report so of course in customer report what you will get so there will be a receivable item which next the receivable team is going for collection so eight double five three six will be uh, there okay but you must be thinking that how i got this document like when uh, because something here updated means in back end something must be happened right so if you'll check here it's not only one document is there document number 14017 you can see some other documents are generated but i don't want to confuse you here these, these documents are nothing but cryptic documents but in back end all these configurations are happened so that is why everywhere i am getting the output now the i want to see the customer open item so that you can see from the on-premises or that you can see from the fury as well so let me show you the both so in on-premises a bl5 pen you can use or you can use here the info segment so if you go to the receivable payable and there if you want to see the receivable part 
I want to see the customer line items. You can check customer balance or you can check customer line items. So here I want to see the receivable items. Okay, so I just entered here my company code and I want to see all the open items, receivable items. So there are some other items are there. Let's do one thing. Let me check today's transaction. Right, so it is available. Now this data is important for the receivable team. This data is important for the costing team, for the COPA, particularly the profitability analysis team. So, and this is an accounting document, which is part of your R2R, right? So anyway, they will prepare the balance sheet. So they are, they are going to include the receivable. They are going to also update uh, the profitability part in p &L. So it is part of R2R. So everything is closely connected with each other. Now, same information. This is your on-premises data. Same information if we will check from Fiori. And here, if I want to see the customer open item. So check that particular application, customer open item. So this is the application, manage customer items. And uh, here I will select the company code and select here all item open items so let me select here open items and i want to see so here it is so related to this customer uh, but uh, we will refer this one because here uh, today only i processed so what is the customer receivable item a double five three six just ignore other line items right this one the previous entries so customer line item or receivable item a double five three six with reference to that, that. so uh, earlier some entries are there maybe testing purpose i have entered the same one amount so that's why it is there just ignore so what is the status it is open that means it is ready for our receivable so with this the logistic activities are completed now i created the sales order in sd outbound delivery that is also delivery note prepare in sd then billing document that is sd so finance and costing point of view we are getting the output the next activity is what we are going to do which i will show you in the upcoming videos so there we will purely you will do the finance so in our next video we will see some business transactions or related to our uh, finance activity but again those will be part of your receivable or order to cash thank you